everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at a newer brand of travel trailer. This one's a price point travel trailer, but still there's some features about it that is very amazing. This is a 2021 Forest River Aurora model 31 KDS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Aurora and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this unit. So this is the same floor plan as the super popular 2727RK, but what's nice about it, it's a little bit longer with the front slide out. Super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will, you're Jen. Yes, hey guys, how are you doing? Doing well, Jen, where are we today? We are at the RV1 of Raleigh, North Carolina. Yes, 919-934-4710. We appreciate them having us here today. Yes, thank you so much. I'm excited to be filling in for Will. Yes, anything else you wanna say? Um. Well, you know, I think I mentioned this on another video, but we are, uh, Will and I have our own vlog channel if you haven't heard yet. Yes. And um, this whole trip of us recording, we've been making a vlog out of. So if you guys want to see kind of the behind the scenes uh, definitely go and subscribe to our channel and that video will be coming out soon perfect i'm super excited jen let's begin model is forest river aurora 31 ckd the actual tip to tip length of the travel trailer is 36 feet long the dry weight is 7527 pounds and that hitch weight i don't know but i do have the specs right there this is going to be you that 100 want weight distribution bars especially since it has a front slide out so it's going to have a lot of tongue weight right here we do have a nice power tongue jack here propane tanks go here and your batteries go there now this is an entry level travel trailer which means it is the aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing but i don't want you to think of it as entry level it's just not the fiberglass it's just not four seasons but dollar for dollar this is going to get the job done give you the most space at the best price Coming on down the side here, we do got a tiny bit of storage. <laughs> Driving on the highway like that, a little Unac bit of storage right unacceptable. there. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Right here, we do have the manual stabilizing jacks. Okay, and check this out. No slide outs on this side, I love that. And we do have a nice, huge power awning with LED lights. You do have speakers on the outside. Very simple finishes on the outside and everything. But look at this, I love the lipper component solid steps. Right here, we do have a grab handle get in. Ooh, look, they do the multicolor LED lights Ooh. for the uh, awning. So you wanna have a rave at your campsite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, it does have the uh, solar um, with it as well, JBL sound system and everything. And then look at these tires, Jen, <laughs> they're the West Lakes. I love those. ST225-75R15. And then here we do have a bracket and everything if you do want to have a TV for the outside. Very nice big window right there. Your water heater's right here. And then this, Jen, is a little mini refrigerator. Oh, nice. Just a fridge, just for beers in America. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Coming around the back, we do have a very nice bumper for your stinky stinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, very nice. Uh, right there's your 50 amp power. Right there's your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then there's a propane quick connect there underneath. And if you look back there, it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Finishing up with the driver's side. We're coming down and around. Right here's your water hookups, outdoor shower, black tank flush, city water connection. Here's where you're dumping your sewer and your gray tank and everything. Very nice and it's easy to access and everything. What's that for? I don't like, know. Like a flagpole on this? Probably. Looks like it. Put your American flag there. Yeah, America. America. Well, Jen, the outside of the Aurora looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's, oh. Dang, nabbit. You missed that part. Oh. 
It's just the, some, some extra storage right there. The inside looks even better. <laughs> Let's go, take a look. Take a look, Jan. All right, let's go. This is Inception. <laughs> Film Inception. All right. It's coming in here. Oh, turn the lights on. Oh. There you go. Coming back here to the bedroom. Let's see if I can get these lights on. There we go. Nice size bedroom back here. Big closet. And then <clears throat> coming up to the living room. Kind of all one big living kitchen area. Yeah. Nice and light and bright. Yeah, very, very nice. So Jen, we're gonna get started with the middle area. Okay. So first, I wanna sit in these individual Lazy Boy recliners. Now, if you guys are in this unit, this looks just like the Wildwood or the Salem 27 RKSS. But again, it's a little bit longer and it's gonna be that bedroom storage that's amazing. Look at this huge window. Yeah. I love that. That's really nice. On your camping side. Yeah, so you can see out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You can check on your kids or your family or whatever. Very nice seat right here. And they do recline. And then right over there is your entertainment center. You got your TV, your sound system, fireplace, which does produce heat from electricity. Over here we got storage. Yes, ma'am, more storage. More. Yep. And then right over here is the sofa, okay? Now this sofa, it is tri-fold sofa. Regular sofa here, very comfortable and nice. And again, the feng shui in here, the feel in here, super nice. Yeah. You got lights there. Um, it really is a nice feng shui in here. Yeah, yeah, it's a good feel. Uh, but there is something that I'm noticing What's that? about these big windows. I'm gonna save it till the end. I just hope I remember. You know, a lot of times in my videos, I say I'll save it till the end, and then I just it yeah. just slips my mind. I'll try to remember. Is it so something with the windows? Something with the windows. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we can go over dislikes. Okay. I'll tell you. And then over here, Jen, we got our dinette. Now this is something that I do not dislike. I like this. Yeah. You got storage underneath the dinette. So more over here. Yes, ma'am. Right here is your tabletop. This does drop down to make a bed. I really like the looks of the cushions, the two-tone colors and everything. And I, I, I just think overall it's really, really nice. And again, this does drop down to make a bed if you do have that occasional guest. Yes. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this Aurora here is $46,599. Jen. That's MSRP. Do you think RV1 of Raleigh selling it for that? I doubt it. Me too. So if you're interested in this unit, you can give them a call at 919-934-4710. Make sure you tell them you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. Also, RV1 has stores nationwide, so we have a link to their website as well. So it doesn't matter where you live. You don't need to travel to North Kakalaki. You can go down to Florida or New York or wherever in the world, and uh, they'll be able to find you something like this or just like it. And uh, we appreciate them letting us be here today. Yes, thank you so much. Jen, let's continue the video. All right, so let's go around to this kitchen. I'm gonna start uh, on this side, actually. Okay. So it looks like we have a nice size pantry. Yes, ma'am. I'm actually really impressed how much storage space you get there. Over here we have compressor fridge. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're getting um, better than Will at then it. I, I honestly just guess and I just hope it's like a 50-50 shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's compressor. GE cool. compressor fridge. Very nice. And then over here we have a little bit of a little high point microwave. Okay. Right here. Okay. Um and then a three let me see if I can turn that. Oh, did I turn the light on? Nope. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so we have a three burner Furion cooktop with okay. an oven. All right. And nice ambient lights. Ooh. And then a um, little bit of storage up here. Yes, ma'am. And then more up here. Very nice. Lots of storage for. Um, look at the countertop. The yeah. I know. It's, it's kind of interesting because it's like that marble look, but it like flows with the brown tones going on. Yeah, here, lots so of like brown it. tones. And um, then we have a pull down faucet. And a nice big one bowl sink. Okay. With sink toggers. And then down here, a little bit more storage going on. Yes, ma'am. More storage above, too. Yes. Very storage nice. Up here. And then we have some drawers to finish it off. Yes. I'd like to give you some organizers in that one. Oh, yeah. 
Very nice. There we go. Very nice. Very nice kitchen. It's now time we check out the bathroom. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, we're following you. Okay. We got a camera on you. We got double cameras on you. You want me to do the shower yeah, test? Yeah, do the shower test okay. for us. I'm going to try to miss the antifreeze in here. Okay. Wow. I, I'm That impressed. is very impressive. I think, well, if, it would be a little tight, but I think with the, um, the um, what do you call it, the cove thing? Yeah, give them the shower test seal of approval. Bing! Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, and it's got a nice, like, pretty good depth and width and everything. Right, and it's so funny because I believe the 27 RKSS is actually um, a radius shower. Oh, okay. so So that's Just a little a bit upgrade. of the length as well. Yeah. Uh, more storage there, storage yep. there. Let me uh, throw this out. Nice little medicine cabinet here. Yep, little sink action with storage underneath there. And no. Okay. I don't mind pooping like this. <laughs> so one, this isn't a prime poop position. Two, it's a plastic toilet. Oh, Three, no. what the heck's going on right here? Yeah, you look a little shrugged. Yeah. <laughs> this does not get a prime poop position. <laughs> cool, come on through, Jen. All right. We're going that way. All right. You want, you want yeah, me? you can go. It's Jen's reviews now. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, wow. Second air conditioning unit already on top. Yeah, I love that. That's nice. Take over. Okay. Well, it looks like we have, is this a queen size bed? Is it? I, I, it almost looks like a king size to me. Whatever size you want it to be, but it's queen. <laughs> it's a queen? Yes. <laughs> uh, it looks like you could fit a king in here though. Um, yeah, definitely. Probably. Probably an option. So, yep. um, you got the nice little side tables up there. Okay. You come around, looks like you have USBs, two USBs on each side, which is nice. Yep. Big storage up here. Okay. Uh, Same on the other library. side. Yep. It's a little reading light, which is nice. Yep, absolutely. And then look at this, an actual entertainment center I right know. here. Yeah, I would definitely want to put a TV in here. And we've got some storage up here and a fireplace, which I'm impressed there's a fireplace in here. And what's great about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity. Yeah. Nice. And then down here, I've got a little bit more storage. And then what the heck's that a door to? This is a door to... Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a wow. Good and then we're prepped for a washer and dryer. A oh, stackable. stackable. Yeah. That's very impressive. Very cool. Give you a little bit of storage up top there. And it, what's nice is that you can access your outside storage too. Yes, ma'am. Um, I don't know if there's any more lights in here, but oh, yeah, there is. There we go. There it is. So we have a nice big closet back here. We have um, some shelves and then um, a rod to hang your stuff. And a mirror door very nice it is lots of clothes storage in here it is and yeah. jen as nice as it is and as great as it is you know the rules guys it's now time that we're giving you three things we love about the forest river aurora and three things we don't like about it jen what do we do first let's do dislikes okay tell me about the windows okay dislike number one dislike number one is going to be the carpet in the bedroom oh yes not a huge fan of that never have been never will be do not like carpet in the bedroom and actually there was carpet in this slide out here oh um which i am just not a huge fan of i'm not i'm not a fan of carpet i think that they could have done a different job about that that's dislike number one jen do you have a dislike i do yeah you talk to me and then i'll give you number three so i i, I don't like the tv angle in here Hold yes ma'am it actually has a nice like seating setup. I like that you got these nice individual like lazy boy mm -hmm. chairs, but um, I don't love where the TV You're is. You're turning right. your head sideways on both sides. Yeah, luckily, I mean, these might turn a little, but yep. but not enough. And if you're sitting there, it's still bad. So. Yep, yep. And again, it's not a deal breaker. Like I'm yeah. sitting here and I can see the TV just fine. Right. That seat's a little bit more of a pain in the butt, but yeah, nobody likes to crank their neck. Yes, exactly. So that's number two. And then number three, Jen, there is practically no storage in here. There's, in, you got the kitchen, but there's no overhead storage yeah. or pantry or anything like that. You're right. Is that what, is that what you thought about with the windows? Yes. And see, I I think with, with getting this big window here, they could have made these windows a little bit smaller, I think. Right. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this. And you ready for this, Jen? I am. I do like the big windows. Yes. The big windows are nice. They're allowing a lot of natural light and everything. And... And just big windows, it feels open and airy. And listen, it doesn't matter how big the travel trailer is, it's still a travel trailer. It's still not your house. So 
to get that feel of the more space is definitely better. And again, you can't have the big windows if you have the storage, so it's give and take. Yep. That is number one. Do you have a like? I do, yeah. Let's come back to the bedroom here. Okay. I just really like, um, I mean, number one, it's a good size bedroom. Yes. But I really like that you have this, like, kind of entertainment area where you can have a TV and a fireplace. Yes, ma'am. I think in, you know, the level of this travel trailer and the size and everything, it's a bedroom that you'd want to, like, enjoy more time and watch TV. It doesn't yes. feel, like, super cramped where you just want to get into the living room immediately. And a lot of that has to do with that front slide out. Yes. Um, Making all the difference oh, in the yeah. world. Great. So that's number two. And then Jen. I'm going to combo it. I love this rear kitchen. I'm not gonna combo it. I just love this rear kitchen. I do too. This rear kitchen's fantastic. The 27 RKSS is a super popular floor plan. So to get this one, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, a little bit more space, but you still have this awesome rear kitchen with that awesome bedroom. Just makes it a great travel trailer for the weekend, for one, two week vacation, not for full timing in but just a great, excellent yeah. camping travel trip. Exactly. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. And again, big shout out to RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. Phone number is 919-934-4710. We appreciate them letting us be here today, showing us some Southern hospitality, North Carolina hospitality. Jen, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, thank you guys so much for having me on the show today and filling in for Will. Um, and uh, if you guys haven't heard, we do have a Patreon. So it's $10 a month, and what we do is a lot of behind-the-scenes content. Will actually does a lot of it. And so um, if you guys are interested in supporting us, that's the best way. Like yes. I said, $10 a month. You get to kind of see the behind-the-scenes when we're filming and doing different things. For sure. And so, but even if you're not on Patreon, just thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing and watching our videos. We appreciate it. Yes. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Jen, we'll see you next time.